let's get into assignment part um, day 3 uh, assignment section so assignment today to collaborative assignment level 2 write a python program to generate the next 15 leap years starting from a given year populate the leap years into a list and the display the list also write pytest cases to the test the program as of now we may not write pytest case but we will write it later note one pytest case is given for your reference so this is a uh, pytest pytest case we need to try this in eclipse so we'll have a separate uh, video how to do this on eclipse so if the given year is right if the given is 2002 then it has to result right 2000 it has written the result of a list which has 15 and next leap years so 2004 is a leap year 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40 44 48 52, 56, 2000. So we need to write test cases like this. It's uh, basically it's writing a test case to check the value. So if the current value is this, as set result when it has to ensure that the following function test to find leap year returns these many values. Let's quickly get into the code. So that's what it has. It has um, find leap years of 2000. So we know that it is a function. Find leap years is a function. Then uh, the value, which are value it is going to return, it is about to be stored in list of leap years. So basically list of leap years is a list because they have clearly mentioned, populate the leap years into a list and display the list. So it is a basically a list and finally we print the list. So now let's get into the find leap year method. So we need to have a empty list since they already have given list of leap years, right? It is a list name. Uh, this list name, this list name both are different if you like to have a different name you can have there's nothing wrong with it let's say um, only list because we cannot use the keyword list it is an inbuilt function so i am going to use list written list so for that we need to create an empty list this will help us to create an empty list so they very clearly said we need to have next 15 leap years so given here is 2000 so it, we have to return the next uh, 13 leap year starting from 2004. So every time you see something, you get a leap year, then you'll have to put it in the list. Then second time, again, if you see a second leap year, after four years, you'll have to put it in the list. You'll have to keep doing this. So we'll have to keep doing it this way. Say for example, if you say it's 2004 is a leap year, yes, it will be, it has to add it into this. Then 2008. So this way, it has to keep adding uh, next 15 leap years into this list. So we're going to perform some operation. We want that to be executed uh, till the list elements, till the list has 15 elements. That's the reason len of list is less than 15. Right now, len of uh, list is zero. So basic rule for uh, leap year is a year needs to be divided by four. That is the first condition. If the year is not divided by four, then we can very clearly say it is not leap year, right? That is why the else part we have given given year plus equal to one so given year is equal to given year plus one so if it is a year is 2000 then it becomes 2001 so we are not performing any operation so we'll check if the next year is leap year or not but if a year is divisible by um, four then we also need to check whether the year is divisible by 100 the year, if the given year is divisible by 100 divisible by four then divisible by 100 then we'll, we also need to check that whether the year, year is divisible by 400. So if it is checked, here is divisible by 4, divisible by 100, then it also needs to be divisible by 400. Then we know that it is uh, leap year. So we append this year to the list, then we increment the year value by 1. And so you might be wondering why uh, all you have studied was should have been uh, if year is divisible by 100, 4, then it's a leap year. But there are cases where this condition alone will work. We also need to check whether it is divisible by 100 or 400. So this ensures that no leap year is missed in between. For example, if you take the year 1900, right, um, it is uh, basically divisible by 4, and uh, it is also divisible by 100. But remember, it is not divisible by 400. So, but actually, 1900 is not a leap year. 
so these two additional conditions will help us to ensure that every leap year we insert is the right year now we need to work on the else part so we know that if um, this if condition is fails then obviously it is not going to be a leap year so all we need to do is we will have to increment year value by one now the code is complete every if section is addressed if else if else and if else so here is divisible by 4 divisible by 100 divisible by 400 yes it is a leap year so we append the year to list then increment the year by 1 if this condition fails simply increment the value by 1 if here is divisible by 100 but not by 400 not by 400 not by 100 then it comes here so it is a leap year divisible by uh, 4 but not by 100 then it is a leap year so we append the year to the list then increment if the year is not is 100 then no doubt it is simply we move on it is not a leap year then we return the list and let's say execute this so it returns all the next 15 leap years so you may give uh, verify this using year 2002 they have given a test case also it starts from 2004 both 2000 and 2002 gives the same result but they have given a test case starting from uh, given a given a result 2002 we tested, tested this so it matches for now the verification is not working that's the reason i have given this here but there's a valid code which we can use